welcome to our submission to the Jewish Futures Competition. We're looking forward to sharing with you our answer to the question, what could Jewish learning and life look like in the future? Feel free to skip around using the timeline below. If you're watching on YouTube, use these buttons here to find out more about our vision. Meet the Cones. The Cones are a family of four living in a major metropolitan city. The Cones are lucky. They live in the future. In this future, Jewish institutions, communities, schools, and individuals have embodied four core overlapping principles. To be open, remixable, meaningful and relevant, and community building. For a full description of each of these principles, click on them at any time. Let's take a look at how these principles affect the Cohen's Jewish life experience. Rose Cohen is a precocious fourth grader who loves Lego blocks and dinosaurs. One day, while learning about the seven days of creation, Rose's teacher shows a cartoon video describing what was created on each day. Rose is confused and asks her teacher, on what day did God create the Stegosaurus? Admitting that he doesn't know the answer, the teacher suggests that Rose look it up in the free online Junior Jewish Encyclopedia. Rose is super excited to learn about non-literal readings of the Torah, and with the help of her teacher and classmates, creates her own stop-motion video with Lego blocks about the days of creation, dinosaurs included. Her video inspires the other students in her class to make similar videos about various topics and questions that they have. David Cohen is away at university studying music composition. While taking a course on modern Russian composers, David learns about the folklorists who traveled Eastern Europe prior to World War II recording Jewish life. Searching online, David is thrilled to discover these works have been scanned and are freely available. David starts blogging and tweeting about them, and even records a few songs, and places them under a Creative Commons license. Suddenly, there are digital copies of these works. Musicians sample this music and create a series of underground hits. With the help of the school's Hill director and a professor of digital music, David organizes a festival symposium of neoklezmer digital mashup artists. Melodies dormant since the Holocaust are not only heard again, but are inspiring a new generation of Jews. Molly Cohen is a physician who works at a local hospital. She is a busy woman. Yet, she still finds time for Jewish learning and growth and ways to connect to her Jewish community. On her daily commute, Molly listens to podcasts, some Jewish, others not. She does this all via her smartphone, the same one she used last January to download a free app that taught her how to chant Megillat Esther. Once a month, Molly takes part in a study group founded through a Jewish meetup-style website. The group posts their sources and topics to a central online Jewish text repository and easily allows others to find and remix sources for their own use. Over time, the content in the pool of resources grows, leading to online debate. This in turn spills over to real-life political action on issues of health care reform, informed by traditional Jewish sources. Robert Cohen is a high school Judaic studies teacher. He sees himself as an innovator, and his head of school provides him with the resources to experiment in the classroom and integrate new technologies into his teaching. Every year with his Israeli history class, Robert works with students to construct an ever-evolving Oregon Trail-style game dealing with the early settlement of the land of Israel. Two years ago, Robert took part in a Jewish education technology training at a leading Jewish university, where he learned cutting-edge tools and even some basic coding skills so he could start building his own platforms. Since the training, every summer, Robert participates in the Jewish Educational Hackathon, an event to develop new open source technological tools. Each of these are owned by no one, available to anyone, and are constantly built upon, making them even stronger. The cones are totally plugged in, but the four core values have enabled them to use technology to enhance their quality of life. Still, once a week, on Friday night, the cones shut off all their gadgets and come together. Enjoying the company of family, friends, and community, taking part in one of the most sacred of Jewish traditions, Shabbat.